Hello rowers, welcome to a Heart Zones virtual rowing workout. My name is Sebastian and I'm going to be your coach today. And today we are doing a 30 minute power workout. So I'm gonna be on my water rower here. I'm really excited about this. A power workout is where, on row, in rowing at least, you take the same stroke rate and you increase or decrease the amount of power that you're putting into every stroke. And that's what's really great about rowing. You don't have to change the stroke rate, start going really fast or slow it down in order to change the workout. You just need to change how hard you press on each of those strokes. And that is what we'll be practicing today. So we are going to have 30 minutes total. Behind me on the screen here, you can see there's the Heart Zones Gallery. All of these gray people are virtual, non-real rowers that you might have in a class. But since they are not here, they're grayed out. My box is up here in the upper left-hand corner. And that will be showing my heart rate once I change it. There we go, heart rate and the stroke rate. So let's get strapped in and get 30 minutes on the clock so we can get this show on the road. It will be 30 minutes total from start to finish, including the warm-up. 30 minutes, there we go. So start out by picking up the handle, sitting up tall. You want to hold the handle nice and wide. The straps are going across the widest part of your feet. Shoulders are relaxed. Then watch my body. Hinge forward. Shoulders go ahead of your hips. Shins are vertical here as we start. And ready, row, start by pressing with the legs. Press with the legs. And think about your arms. Your arms are just straight out ahead of you. Around the finish. Press, pull back, and then hinge your body forward before your legs start to bend just a minute or so, we're going to do a drill to work on exactly that motion of getting that swing around the finish. Sitting up tall, you want to get forward without reaching forward by bending your back. So lift your chest up to keep your back tall and proud and powerful. And we are going to do that drill I mentioned. We're going to be pausing at body over. So after you swing forward around the finish, you're going to pause with your legs still straight in two. That's one, two, pause here. Okay, so right here, you can see my legs have not bent. My shoulders are ahead of my hips. Arms are out straight. Row. And pause again. Row. Each time we pause, take that moment to make sure you're sitting up tall. Make sure you're sitting forward with your shoulders forward. Row. And your legs are not bending as you come forward. There's a real tendency to let your legs bounce at the finish. Your knees bounce up. But no, you want to keep them flat. Row. Rope. Rope. I'm going to start shortening up this pause. Rope. Rope. So you're just tapping the pause. Rope. 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 And this is our last one. Rope. Continuous rowing, no pause. So now start to think about this slide forward. I'm rowing really nice and slowly. My stroke rate is only about 19 strokes a minute. But the reason for that is I want to focus on controlling how quickly we move forward. You don't want to be pulling yourself up with your toes. If you feel your toes pulling on those straps as you're coming forward, Slow down that slide. You actually want to feel connection between the foot plate and the bottom of your feet on every stroke as you come forward to make sure that you're not throwing your body up. The faster you come up, the more momentum you have to stop, then turn around to take the stroke. 
That's just inefficient. Okay. Let's start to take some powerful strokes to finish warming up. So sit up tall. We're going to take 10 strokes at 22 strokes a minute. Then five strokes at 24. In two. One. Two. Let's add some power in your stroke. Press. Still nice and controlled. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. At 22 strokes a minute. Seven. Eight. Nine. On this one. Ten. Let's speed up to 24 for five. Press. Two. Three. Four. Five. Easy. Nice light rowing. Deep breaths. Still hinging forward around the hips. And then let's take one last hard set of 10 strokes at 26 this time. Just 10 strokes. Driving those legs down strong. Swinging out of the finish quickly. In two, that's one. Two, sit up. Press. Two. Three. Four. Relax shoulders. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Ease that on back. Okay. Grab some water and stretch out. I'm going to walk us through our workout today. So, we are going to do a three minute piece to start out with, followed by two six minute pieces. Sorry, <laughs> lost my train of thought there for a moment. Three minute piece, followed by two six minute pieces. Followed by one last, just about three minute piece. And that will be it. The first three minute piece, we're going to be holding 24 strokes a minute straight through. The same pressure, no change in rate, all the way through. In fact, all of them, there's no change in rate. We're 24 strokes a minute from start to finish of this workout. But after that first piece, we start shifting the, the pressure around throughout each piece. So the first one is setting a baseline for ourselves. You want to be pressing hard, but not so hard that you're worn out at the end. This is a pace that you could hold for 10, maybe even 20 minutes. That's the target. So kind of find that middle of the line pace, middle of the line pressure rather, and that is what you're aiming for. So let's get ready. Get, get that clock back up there. Sitting tall. We're going to start, you know what, I'm going to let it run down to about 22.30. That's when we're going to start out. So relax a little bit for about 15 seconds. Get that last stretch in. We're going to go straight into that 24 stroke minute, stroke per minute pace. Sit ready in five, four, three, two, one, row. Solid pressure but this should feel like something you can maintain for a longer period of time. 10, 20 minutes, maybe even 30. And then once you are at a pressure that you feel is maintainable, take note of what your per 500 meter split is. That's how I'm gonna be coaching today, based on the per 500 meter split and then try and hold it right there. No changes. Another part of these power workouts is you wanna find consistency. Control how hard you're rowing. So this graph behind me, that's the workout graph. You can see right now we're in this little orange section. That's three minutes long. Orange is medium pressure. Then, as we go through the graph, there are some red sections, really hard, 
green sections, nice and easy, but they're all at the same vertical level, which means they're all the same stroke rate. Sitting up tall, we are halfway through. 90 seconds to go. Deep breaths. Breathing out through the finish. Then deep breath in as you come up. Less than a minute remaining. Driving with the legs, every stroke. Press. And suspending from the hands. Straight arms as your legs drive down. Take five more strokes. One, two, three, four, five. Easy. We've got a minute and a half to rest between each of our pieces. So take this time, grab some water, stretch out. Once you're feeling good, you can just do some light rowing. Don't worry about getting the calories burnt. This is just about keeping your body loose. And only if you want to, it's okay to stop. So this six minute piece we've got coming up in about 50 seconds is going to be three minutes at an easier pace than we just did. So if you were looking at that per 500 meter split that we just had, or that you just had, hopefully consistently through the three minutes, then you want to add about five seconds or so to that. So if you were holding a two and a half minute per 500 meter say, then you would go to 235. If you were holding two minutes, 205, whatever your number is. Add a little bit of time, make it a little easier. We're still rowing at 24 strokes a minute. That just means each stroke is less powerful. So we're doing that for three minutes. Then two minutes at the same pace you just had, so a little harder, and then one minute going even harder. So sit up, get ready for a little less powerful 24 right here. 24 strokes a minute, reasonably easy pressure. up tall. As the pressure goes down, the actual amount of time you spend driving also goes down, which means sort of counterintuitively, when you're rowing lighter at a given stroke rate, you actually have to be quicker around the finish with your hands and body so that you don't have to start pulling yourself up the slide to get to the next stroke in time. Already a minute down. If you're looking in this graph, we're in this yellow section. Right there. <laughs> pointer so I can stick it exactly where we are. Three minutes 
at this easy pressure. So you are almost two minutes down. those hands quick around the finish in and out one motion and then the body follows hands in and out body swings forward in about 15 seconds we are going to shift up, so get ready for that. Shift up in pressure, not in pace. So if you're watching your per 500 meter split, right here, drop five seconds off of it. This is back to your base pressure, the same per 500 meter split you had on that three minute piece. We're holding this for two minutes. Shoulders are still relaxed. Away from your ears. Body's still tall. As you get tired, it's easy to start slumping. It's easy to let your butt kind of fall under you. So your lower back starts to curve. Scoot back an inch on the seat to keep yourself on your sit bones and bring your chest up tall. It's getting elevated. Keep on going strong. Remember, we have one last minute of rowing powerfully. Full pressure at 24 strokes a minute. Coming up in three strokes. One, two, three. Add some pressure. Press one minute. Press. Stay long. Hinge forward to get that forward body length. And then maintain pressure on the handle all the way through the drive. Just 30 seconds to go. Press. Press. Initiate with that leg drive. And let's take five more strokes. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Woo. Okay. Deep breaths. Let your heart rate drop. Mine takes a little while. <laughs> so, during this minute and a half, once you've stretched out, grab some water. Start to think about our next piece. Our next piece, still at 24, is going to have some slower bits and some harder bits. <coughs> so, I'm gonna wait until the screen behind me changes. Give it a few seconds here. But, we're gonna start out really easy. So, the easy part that we started out at three minutes last time, you're gonna back off even more from that. 
So that's going to make it 10 seconds or so slower than your base pace or more if you want to so that you're pushing but really casually you can breathe you can talk if you wanted to during the row and then we're going to hold that for a minute and 20 seconds after a minute 20 you're going to have 40 seconds of pressing hard at 24 about medium hard, somewhere around your base pace. So reasonably hard, but not killing yourself. Then it's back to the easy rowing for another minute 20. Then back for 40 seconds of hard pressure again, a little harder this time. And then one last time, minute 20 of easy rowing. And then 40 seconds of full pressure, every ounce of strength you have, 24 stroke per minute rowing. So. That's low rating for having full pressure. Remember that. Okay, let's get ready. Got about 30 seconds to go. Nice and easy. So I'm moving here, but I don't know if you can see my power. I'm putting in almost no power here. I think my power level is not even registering. <laughs> it's saying I'm at 320 watts, which I'm not at all. Okay. So right here, 24 strokes a minute. Let's go. Let's speed up this stroke rate a little bit without increasing our pressure. There we go, now you can see it. So you see the little green and yellow and orange and red lines that are going back and forth. That's the piece that we're on right now. And we're hanging out here at this easy pressure 24 for a minute and 20 seconds. So 30 seconds more, press it tall. So at 810, so five seconds, go to your base pressure on this stroke press 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 sitting tall driving strong only 40 seconds take four more one two three and four. Back to that easy pressure 24. I think last time I was a little low. On 22, 23. So speed up the rate. Don't let the pressure come up though. Your shoulders still getting that swing around the finish. Body in and out. We've got about 20 seconds to go until the power comes back on. And sit ready in three, 
two, one, press. Let's go faster than your base. At 24, ride that handle back hard. Already halfway through. You don't have to worry about getting tired because it's only 40 seconds. Press, 10 seconds to go. Press. Two more strokes. One. And two. Back to that easy. Quick hands. Light drive. 24 strokes a minute. going to be our last set of easy piece, then pressure. After the pressure, you get a minute and a half to rest. So make sure to give it your all. Less than 30 seconds to go until you're on. Get up. In. About 15 seconds. 10 seconds more. Get ready to drive hard. Drive hard. Controlled recovery. That's the name of the game. On this stroke. Press. How low can you take the split? Press. Without taking the rating above 24. 30 seconds to go. Drive, sit up. Halfway through. Control that core. Engage it. Drive the legs down. Three more strokes. One. Two. And three. Easy. All right, got a minute and a half to get that final rest. We're going to take the last a little under three minutes to really have a bit of fun. So we're going to take the stroke rate starting out low. No, sorry, the power starting out low. And then every 30 seconds or so, we're gonna shift up. So give it a little boost every 30 seconds until we finish this thing off. So if you unstrapped, get strapped back on in. We're gonna start out in, I'm gonna start us a little early because we're starting out really easy in about five seconds, 10 seconds. Starting out at that really easy green pace that we were at on the last interval for those minute 20 sections right here. Just row it out nice and easy. And then at the two minute mark, drive it a little harder. See if you can drop that split three, four, maybe, maybe five seconds right here. Press a little harder. We're going to do this every 30 seconds. It's just a ladder on up to power. Get ready for that next shift. It coming up in two, one, two. Press. Drop another three to five seconds off your split. Remember, we've got two more shifts coming up. So hopefully you've got more in the tank.
Get ready for the next shift. On this next stroke. Press. Find some more. Press. Here in your last minute of the day. Sit tall. Stay long. Deep breaths. Relax shoulders. What have you got for 12 more strokes? Press. Find that last bit of power. Get ready for these last five strokes. Right here. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Woo. All right. Done. You are so done. Give yourselves a nice round of applause. Take some easy strokes. Really let your body cool down. But that is it. I'm still breathing hard. Woo. I hope that you all have a fantastic day. Stretch out, drink water, recover from that power row on our water, water rower with heart zones. Oop, wrong way. Heart zones over here. <laughs> Everything's backwards. Okay. See ya.